Welcome to my first helpful video. I'll be upgrading the batteries and battery cables. First thing, carefully remove the red wires from the batteries. Don't short them to the body. Remove the radiator overflow hose. That's the cable for the lift gate. Carefully squeeze the sides of the round connector to disconnect the small black wire. And disconnect the square connector. Then remove the battery hold downs. Remove the batteries. I use a rubber lifting strap designed for this purpose. Remove the retaining clips holding the battery cable that goes from one battery to the other. And carefully remove the wire. The starter has two wires to remove, one large and one small. Remove the two bolts from the front of the block that hold the strain relief in place. Remove the starter solenoid wire from here. This wire is bundled with the hot wire going to the starter. Remove the frame ground from here. It's right between the block and the body panel on the passenger side. Carefully remove the red wire. Remove the ground cables. Notice the parts laid out on the paper with notes. Labeling things is just easier for me. Peel off the plastic cover for use later. Separate the black wire. That's the starter solenoid wire. Remove the strain relief holder by opening it up. Might take a little work. Pretty crusty. Carefully cut the strain relief off the old wire for use later. Clip off the red wire. This is the hot feed to the starter solenoid. Remove the rest of the plastic cover. Cut the tape and remove the small retainer. I put it back where it came from near the driver's side battery. Remove a little more tape and pull off the rest of the plastic. I'd have to say that's seen better days. That's kind of messed up. Remove the two bolts from the bottom of the battery tray. Remove the two bolts on the side. Remove the bolt from the arm support and pull out the battery tray. Now let's try fitting this Group 31 stub top battery and see how it fits. Yep, 
it doesn't appear that we're going to be able to use the stock tie downs, so I'm going to have to come up with something later. Mark the tray for cutting. Cut slowly all the way to the bottom. Then slowly bend down the edge to flatten it so it's the same as the bottom. Remove any sharp edges or corners and you should be good to go. Fit the battery again. Make sure there's nothing that's going to rub. Make sure you don't pinch yourself. Ow! Reinstall the battery tray, support bar, bottom bolts, and side bolts. I always, always retorque everything I use the pneumatic gun on everything. Remove the driver's side battery tray. Remove the radiator overflow tank, hold down bracket, and the windshield washer tank. Look at how the bracket fits for reinstallation. Remove the windshield washer tank and set it toward the back of the truck in a safe spot and continue. Next, remove the radiator overflow tank. Check out how the bracket fits for installation. It might be a little tricky. We'll see. I've taken several reference pictures just in case. This piece is riveted on, so there is no easy way to remove the battery tray. There doesn't seem to be any way of getting the battery tray out, so lift it up vertical, cut it, bend it in place. Remember to file all the sharp edges.